Okay, so let's try out some of the products. So before I get into it, I'm going to read you guys what it says on the back of the foundation as well as the concealer and read you the claims just like I do in all my first impression slash wear test slash review videos. I have three shades of the foundation in front of me because I wasn't really sure which one would match me. This is what the foundation looks like. The new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Okay, so on the front cover, it just says Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the shade Cream Beige, and which is medium neutral. And it also says it's cruelty free, which is awesome. And this comes in one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters. So just like your regular foundation. So now onto the back side, it says goodbye photo flashback. It helps eliminate white particle reflection. And then they give you like a little image, but it just gives you like a side by side comparison. One has the X and then one has the Y, saying how it should look like when you wear the foundation. It says tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash and then it also has the vegan sign here so it is vegan and cruelty free which is awesome just going to peel the sticker here just to see what else it says so I can just read you guys everything that's that it claims to do um, okay all right, so it says tested under seven light conditions and the seven light conditions are clear blue sunlit sky Outdoors PM, indoors PM, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. And then it says delivers virtually flawless and buildable coverage every time. Precision match color with matte second skin finish. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like a natural matte finish. So maybe like a satinish finish. And then it says soft focus properties help perfect appearance of skin. Okay. So that's all that it says on the bottle. I also picked up the concealer that goes with it. also have the powder from them, which is right here, the pressed powder. All three of these, the concealer foundation and the powder, they are from their Photo Focus line. I also have the new contouring stick and the catsuit liquid lipstick. For all my Canadian girls out there, you can find these products at Walmart at square one. Also, it's taken me a while to get on these because if you live in Canada, you know it takes some time to get here. So we're gonna get started. As always, I'm gonna do one side with a beauty sponge and the other side with a foundation brush and see which one works better. So I'm going to prime my face with my Dr. Brand primer. I have my eye makeup and my brows done, so. Yeah, if you're just wondering. I'm also going to spray a little bit of this e.l.f. setting spray. Well, it says Aqua Primer Mist. This is okay. It's not that great. I don't really like the spray and how it sprays, but it will do. Then I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just press that into the skin before we go in with the foundation. So I'm going to start off with the cream beige. Hopefully this will work. I'm just gonna shake it a little bit. I don't know. I just always like to shake my foundations <laughs> Oh, I like this applicator. Oh, I like this so it has like a Spatula type of applicator. I really like these kind of applicators. I think it's a lot easier to just dot on your face So that's that's what I'm gonna do Ooh, it's a little on the pink side like peachy undertone kind of prefer like yellow undertone for my skin because I have yellow based undertone uh, okay I'm gonna try the shade desert beige is a little bit dark um, this is medium dark warm so it's gonna be a little dark but hopefully it's not too dark because this one looks a little bit more yellow to me yeah this one has a slightly yellow undertone Oh, that's a lot of foundation I put on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot better. I don't know if they had any other shades that were uh, a little bit lighter but had a yellow undertone. Because this is all I could find. The rest were sold out. But this works once I mix it in. It's not too pinkish. I like the coverage. It's more of a medium coverage and it does look more natural. So it's... 
not a full coverage foundation i don't think it says that it's not matte matte it's more satin finish with this side i'm gonna try with the brush and this is the elf brush So I do like the coverage, it's nice. Wow, it does look really good. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin, it's pretty light. It looks sort of natural. It's not super matte on my face, it's kind of a satin finish, which is not bad because I don't really like super matte foundations. It's a little bit of a fragrance to it. Yeah, as I was applying it, I could smell a little bit of Something. I'm really bad at describing scents, so I don't really know what it smells like, but it's not too overpowering, so that's fine. So next, I'm going to conceal under my eyes, and I'm going to use the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. Um, I think this is going to be a little dark for me to like highlight and stuff, but this and another dark shade was the only thing that they had available, so I just picked this one up. This is in Medium Tawny. 842B. Yeah, oh yeah. This is this is dark. Okay, so it's not the concealer's fault, it's just <laughs> the color is just too dark for me. So I will just try it a little bit right under the eyes and I'll just mix it in with another concealer that's lighter. Because I like to have the highlighted under eye. Ooh, the concealer is actually really nice. It is dark, but I just like how it applied and how it just blended out. Um, I just wish I had the right color. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I am a big fan of the concealer, to be honest. I just added a little bit of my Maybelline Age Rewind to lighten it up a little bit, but guys, I really like the concealer. I like how it just blended out and made my under eyes really like airbrush. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm doing so many first impression and wear test review videos. Next let's move on to contouring. I'm going to be using these two contour sticks. This one is called Where's My Walnut and this one's called Call Me Maple. So this blends out really, really nice. It's easy to blend out. So this is a nice color. I do like my contour to be a little bit more on the warmer side because otherwise it can look a little ashy. But I'm also going to try the other color, which is where my walnut. It's a little bit darker. So let's see how this one works. I might like these a little bit better than the LA Girl Beautiful Bronze. That's the one I use when I do cream contour. Um, these ones just blend out a lot easier, I find. I love LA Girl too, but this, this just blends out a little bit easier. Now let's move on to setting the face. I'm gonna use this powder right here. This is in Warm Beige. So this is supposed to go really well with the foundation. I'm just going to read the claims of the powder as well. So yeah, this also says it was tested under seven light conditions, okay? And then it says, sets makeup with an unbelievably soft satin finish, reduces shine throughout the day, and each shade covers a range of skin tones. Um, and then it says, your smartphone just met its makeup match. Pack this Genius Press powder in your bag for endlessly amazing photos every time. Light diffusing pigments give your skin a veil of silky, natural looking perfection in photos and IRL. What is IRL? I don't know what IRL is. Wear it alone on bare skin or over photo focus foundation for a flawless finish. The foundation is looking really, really nice. I'm liking it so far. I'm just going to set everything. a little bit difficult for me when it comes to powders because some powders can make me look really really cakey and really really dry and I am on the hunt for a really good powder that 
sets well, but it doesn't make me look cakey and dry. Next, I'm just going to set the contour, and I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama bronzer. Now for highlight, I don't think I've ever used this on camera, but I'm going to be using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Wow, it is so sparkly, it doesn't even show on camera. I love this glow kit so much. It is beautiful. Like, look at the inside. I've watched Nicole since she first started on YouTube, like with her red hair and everything. I love her. She's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Congratulations, so happy for you. I'm also going to be using the Bronze Goddess Highlighter from Estee Lauder. I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit. I'm going to pick up Kitty Cat Forever Young. And from here, I'm going to pick up this one, obviously. There's just one here. And let's highlight. Ooh, okay. Time for the lips. I just applied a nude lip liner. And now I'm just going to apply the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. I've heard a lot of good things about these liquid lipsticks, so let's give it a try. It's like a nice doe food applicator. Yeah, I like it. Now let's see how it applies. So it is a nude peach color. I got it on my teeth. <laughs> Is weird did I get a bad one or what because ooh okay everything is just going all over it's like it's taking away the product rather than applying it okay so <gasps> and it also got a are you kidding me I just ruined my beautiful little top you know, great. I have like lipstick all over this awesomeness. It's not even coming off. I'm gonna go over again. One more time. No, just no. It's it's just, it's not opaque. Like, I'm applying, as I'm applying, it's just like taking away the product rather than really applying it to my lips. Like, look, I can just literally take it all off with this applicator this no no so i took off whatever i could it was super hard to take it off and i'm just going to put on another lipstick and i'll be right back okay so i just put on another lipstick because that totally did not work for me so you already know my review on that liquid lipstick everything else is looking good so far it is currently 4 1 p.m so i think i will come back in like a couple of hours maybe like five to six hours i will check back in and then i will give you guys my full review on all of the products so i will see you guys in just a little bit hey guys so i am back and i am ready to give you my full review on these products it's 8 54 p.m the foundation looks really really good well i hope you can see it but honestly it stayed on so nicely and the powder even just didn't make me look cakey as i thought it would um so i'm really really liking the powder and the foundation for sure also i found that mixing the two shades actually worked out perfectly for me um so what i mixed was queen beige and desert beige so desert beige is medium dark and cream beige is medium neutral and mixing the two actually worked out for me because I didn't have the right shade but I did look on the website and they have a shade that's in between which is I think golden so I'm gonna try to find that because I think that will work perfectly for me and I don't have to mix two colors like I mentioned earlier this concealer is really really good I love the way it went on it just was so smooth and made my under eyes look really airbrushed but I did get a shade that is a little bit too dark for me to highlight underneath the eyes so I am gonna be purchasing a shade that works for 
me I love the contour sticks as well they were really really easy to work with they blended out really easily and I really like the stick form you know it's just really nice and easy to do your contour just draw it on and then blend and lastly is this this did not work out for me at all at all it was just so bad it it just didn't work out for me I feel bad saying you know it didn't work out for me I don't want to say something bad about a brand but honestly this product just didn't work out for me and I really wanted it to because I've heard so many good things but I will still give this a try not this one but another color a try just to see maybe this was a bad um, tube that I got I don't know so we'll see but everything else I really really like but this wraps up my first impression slash wear test video on some of the new wet and wild products I really hope you guys enjoyed hopefully it was helpful and I will see you all in my next video